Welcome to today's <laughs> tiny house parking spot. Almost. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to the latest episode of today's Tiny House Parking Spot. Can you guess where we are? We're in a tiny house community <laughs> slash RV park. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are just over the Colorado border. I mean, literally just over the border into New Mexico at Animus Valley Village. We are parked at Animus Valley Village, which is a beautiful, brand new, tiny house and RV community. And I'm here with Melissa Lopez, who is the co-owner of this great place. How's it going? Great, <laughs> thanks for coming to visit us. Oh, our pleasure. Um, we had a lot of communication with Samantha. She's like, you have to come check this out because you know, there's so few places, as you know, where tiny houses can park comfortably without you know, fear of being evicted or, or whatnot. Yeah. So it's so great that you guys opened your doors to the tiny home community. Yeah, we um, wanted to create a tiny home village. This county was very good about <laughs> letting us do that with a, an existing RV park. Oh, awesome. And how'd you first get into the tiny house world? I think it came really from wanting to um, help people and um, have a place where they could legally park. And um, I live just on the other side of the border cool. and we got a beautiful spot of property and I wanted to have people, you know, be able to share it with people and I couldn't do that legally. <laughs> so, um, so I went looking for some place that I could and this is just really close by with a lot of the same features in a great location between Durango and Aztec and that's where it kind of started. Awesome. Yeah, it is a fantastic area because it's such a short drive to either place and Durango has got a lot going on and like we were just talking, Aztec is a really charming little town. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, so what what's here now and what's your dreams for the future? So right now we have 11 spots. Okay. Um, we have some extended stay guests, but we also have room for people to come in for a few days or a week or whatever. Um, we, our vision is to create a community where tiny home residents can can live an inspired life, uh, simple and affordable. Mm. And so um, so we have plans for a garden area, we want to do a dog park, Ooh. and we want to put some games, uh, game areas like, you know, cornhole and fun stuff oh, outside. Awesome. The fire pit will be going in um, before too long. And you also have two short-term rentals, is that right? We do, we've got uh, the Pemberley and the Willow House. We're really fortunate to have those here as well. So vacation rentals um, cool. are available for people who wanna try something out or are you know in the area and just wanna um, to stay in it for a little while, yeah. That's great, because I, I feel like we talk to a lot of people who wanna try out Tiny Living too. Like either they're just curious, like Tiny Curious we like to say. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe they're, they're actually seriously thinking but you gotta like feel the space to really know. Yeah, and if you stay in it for a little while, it'll give you some really good ideas of what you want or don't want in your own. Can you believe this walk-in closet in a tiny house? It's amazing. And check out this washer dryer. Perfect for doing clothes for an army, an army of five, just like this family. And up here are bunk beds. I've never seen bunk beds in a tiny house. I think definitely not in the gooseneck. It's really unique and gives the kids lots of private space in their own bed and still some play area. There's like six feet of clearance in here so you can stand up, do some stretches, do a little yoga. Now look at these fun lights that kids have around their bunk beds. They change colors, set the right ambiance. The 
these are metal louvers that act as a privacy curtain between the two different sleeping lofts up here but they they can open and close to also allow for airflow across them which is pretty cool so you can watch a movie or read a book in complete privacy but open it up to let in the air let in the light it's pretty rad and this was built by rocky mountain tiny homes for a family of five it's a military family who's currently overseas for a little while and so melissa and animus valley are going to take good care of this house and offer it to other folks as a short-term rental so if you're looking for a spot you guys you need to look up animus valley village because like melissa said it's like so convenient here and the affordability i think can't be beat And even though we're only a thousand feet into New Mexico, I love it. <laughs> New Mexico is just, again, the craziest, weirdest state. I love it. <laughs> Finally, we were so far, before this last week, we spent one night in New Mexico in our whole three years of traveling 50,000 plus miles. Mm -hmm. And finally, we're in Christian's favorite state. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we're parked next to a really great tiny house family with adorable little girls. We got to see them heading out for trick-or-treating the other day. Mm -hmm. Really made my heart happy. <laughs> it's pumpkin season. We got our pumpkins <gasps> out. We just had like homemade apple cider. Uh, it's pretty great. So the cool thing is Animus Valley Village is actually in between Durango and a town called Aztec. And we drove into Aztec just the other day um, to go see the ruins and to have a really good burger at this burger <laughs> joint. A lot of burger. Wow, it's really good. <laughs> pumpkin pie shake made from pumpkin pie from a local bakery, and it tastes just like that. It's delicious. Great. <laughs> How's them seasoned fries? Good. It's a whole lot to love. This. How cool are you? This green chili burger is delicious. <laughs> a lot of burger. It's a New Mexico chain. If you come through, you gotta hit it up. Uh, it was delicious. So one of the cool parts about Northwest New Mexico is there are ruins everywhere that you can go and explore that are absolutely amazing. And right in downtown Aztec, is this amazing ruin called Aztec Ruins National Monument? That's it. And everywhere we go, we always love to check out the housing. It's very curious. So we came to the Aztec Ruins National Monument, which is ancient home, home place of some Pueblo people. And these are the dwellings he lived in. 900 year old housing. And it held up beautifully. Yeah, look at it. Pueblo people who took a centuries long migration from the navel of the earth, we learned, um, to kind of like the promised land, and they created different settlements from Chaco Canyon to the town of Aztec. Yeah, Aztec is a super charming little town. We had a wonderful day from the Aztec Ruins National Monument um, 
to the 550 brewery. Um, yeah. Yeah, we did that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you notice a theme in these videos, we love to hit up the local breweries. Yeah, <laughs> and it's always so easy. There's so many across the country, so uh, we're, we are, have a good collection of stickers from all the breweries we've been to. Totally. <laughs> What's great about the Animus Valley Village is that it offers legal long-term parking. It is zoned for RV and in this county they allow for year-round living. So it's a really great secure place to live. Also, if you love peace and quiet, you definitely have it here. Um, but the best part, like Christian mentioned, is you're really close to two great towns. So you're not in the middle of nowhere. So it's kind of that nice balance, which I really like. Next tiny house stop is Santa Fe, New Mexico. Stoked, I've never been there before, and we're going to someplace super cool. Mm -hmm. So tune in next week to see what kind of Halloween shenanigans we get in Santa Fe. And don't forget, you guys, to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. All right, see you next week, guys. Take it easy. Hey guys, Alexis and Christian here with Tiny House Expedition. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And click left or right for more tiny house stories and tours.